Hello, welcome back to Today I Choose Joy. Lindsay here. Just wanted to do a little quick update since I finally got my editing, video editing all figured out. It was like a week or like, no, it wasn't a week. It was like five days. I filmed it and for some reason my editing was not working. I tried it on three different computers. I, I don't know what I finally did, but I got it figured out. So I got a video up earlier today, but I wanted to keep on my progress and get another video up pretty quick. Um, so over the weekend, I got super lucky. Um, I think it was Thursday when I filmed my last video. Um, and I had the appointment for the sleep study to pick up the equipment the next day. Um, so I did the sleep study at home over the weekend. That was miserable. Like, I know it's not supposed to be enjoyable. I know it's not supposed to be fun. They're supposed to have all these monitors on you to test you and study you and make sure your breathing is good and make sure everything is going right and you're getting enough oxygen. But that sucked. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a moving sleeper. So at one point I had to like, get all these wires untangled and do a bunch of stuff and make sure that I was still connected and make sure I was still connected to the machine. So because I had a weekend study, I did the study on Friday. <clears throat> I could have done it again on Saturday and I could have done it again on Sunday just to give them more data to work with. <clears throat> and then they would go from like the best results. But after that first night doing it and sleeping as miserably as I did, I mean, like I still probably got six, seven hours, but not a good six or seven hours. Like it was not deep sleep. It was very kind of interrupted almost, I guess I would say. So that went back on Sunday from them to analyze today and whenever. Um, but then I have the follow up with them next week. But tomorrow I go for my drive through COVID test. <sighs> so I'm really, really, really hoping it's not like the, let me shove a Q-tip into your brain. I know it doesn't actually touch your brain, but it looks like it touches your brain. And I hear it's awful. Um, hopefully it's just like a light nose swab, but you know, it's, it's, it's gotta get done regardless. So I go for that tomorrow morning and then the endoscopy is Friday morning. Um, so we're moving along and I'm, I'm so thrilled. I talked to my aunt for, you know, maybe half hour to an hour earlier tonight, just to update her and tell her how I'm going and how everything's going. And so Hopefully, you know, by sooner rather than later, I'll have a surgery date. The reason I'm saying that is because Tuesday, when I saw the nutritionist and she put me on the 1400 calorie diet, the three to four servings of carbs, high protein, I've been sticking to it. I know in the last video I said that I so far had been doing good. <clears throat> I am still doing well. I am still sticking with it. Doesn't mean I haven't had my moments where I am dying for a piece of pizza or a candy bar or ice cream or a donut even. I went to the grocery store at lunch today to get um, some veggies that I could have at my office. And of course, the entrance that they have is, you know, you go in here, you go out there. But the entrance for the entrance only is right by the bakery. So you walk in and it's like, Donut, 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 donut. Cookies, 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 cookies. And I was just like, walk away, walk away. So it, it's, it's hard. I just really like, I'm, I'm trying with the sugar-free jello. I'm trying with <clears throat> like the sugar-free popsicles. But I got to find a, a substitute for cake or donuts. Like, I got to get that out of my brain, out of my mind, because right now, like, that's what I want. So I've been staying strong. I did pick up some of the 45 calorie 
I think I got Nature's Way. Maybe, I don't know. But Sara Lee makes it too. It's 45 calorie bread. Um, so I can actually have two pieces of that bread for one serving of carb. So I can make a full sandwich um, for the one serving of carbs. So that's great. You know, that'll, that helps to beef up something a little bit more than just being like, I'm having turkey and cheese roll ups with some tomatoes on the side. <laughs> I can have a sandwich. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, so I started the 1400 calorie diet on Tuesday. On Tuesday, when I weighed in at the office, I was at 291. Now, I had weighed in that morning on my scale, and I was just about the same exact thing. So I'm going to just go with, you know, my scale somehow miraculously is not ridiculously off the scale in the office, which like never happens. Um, but it's fairly close. So when I got on the scale this morning, I was at 283.4. So in a week, I'm down like eight pounds with this 1400 calorie diet. So that's awesome. Like I'm slightly miserable doing it, but I'm doing it and I'm down eight pounds. So I've got nine pounds total that I've lost because I started at 292 and I need to get down the nutritionist recalculated. I need to get down to, I think, 276 or 277. So I've got like another six to go. So if I can somehow keep, I mean, at this point, I'm noticing it to be like half a pound to a pound a day, um, depending on how much exercise I can get in during the day, um, along with eating the 1400 calorie diet. So as long as I can keep doing that, by the time I see the surgeon's PI on, I think it's the 7th, it's, it's next week sometime, 6th or 7th maybe, um, it's Monday so it must be the 6th, um, I might have a surgery date. Eee! They might give me a surgery date. Um, so that's thrilling. Well, I, I say I might get one, but that's if everything looks okay with the endoscopy and everything looks okay with the sleep study. So as long as those look good and I lose six more pounds, I could be getting a surgery date. Like, yay. You know, this is, this is happening. This is, this is, this is happening. So I will definitely keep you updated. Um, I'm really excited, really excited. Um, but I mean, I've been, I've been doing well with the diet. And so it has kind of taught me to look at it, you know, and I look at what I'm eating versus how I used to eat. And it, it's drastically different. Um, that doesn't mean to say that because I'm doing really well right now and I'm losing the weight. I know it's going to take more than this for it to happen. Like my, I'm trying to be as strong as I can with the cravings and with wanting things. But this is not something that without help I could do by myself. And I know that because I've tried. Um, the food addiction, the sugar addiction, it's just, it's, I need to have some tools to help me along the way so that I can get my health under control so that I can mentally work on those addictions because it is, I mean, it's, it, you know, I could, I could go through a Dunkin' Donuts drive through and get two donuts without even thinking about it and be like, oh yes, yum, so good. I mean, nothing about that is healthy. Nothing about that is good. Nothing about that is anything I should be doing. Um, so <clears throat> I need, I need this tool to get my health under control so that I can work on the addiction. Um, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to have that as an option. So I'm, I'm going to take it and feel completely blessed that I have that as an option. And 
use it to the best of my ability and not waste it because this is a gift and you know, I'm, I'm going to take the gift and run with it. Um, so coming up here soon, I am going to have to do a body shot, which is terrifying, but you know, so be it. Um, so I'm going to have to do a body shot here coming up soon and do some measurements. I think, I think I'm going to do some measurements and put that in just so that I can have something real to like look at and track and, you know, say my, you know, my arms started at this size and now they're this size. My waist started, my stomach started, you know, my hips, good Lord, my hips, um, started at this and, you know, now they're down to this. And so the, the kind of exciting thing is I, I have a majority of my clothes that don't fit because I'm, I'm that person. I'll get back into them. I'll get back into them. So I've got them. They're in the attic. So as I transition through this, I'll have a lot of transition clothes. So that's also another good, not good, good. I'm going to go with good, good thing. Um, but I'm trucking along, keeping up my positive attitude, keeping up, you know, everything that I can and taking every bit of information that I can absorb and absorb it. Um, you know, learn everything I can while I can and be as prepared as I can. And I know any type of procedure like this is going to be a little different for everybody and it's going to react a little different for everybody. But having resources and my aunt and the support groups online and the Facebook groups that I found, like the amount of resources that are out there now, it's unbelievable. You know, finding YouTube channels that I found to show me, you know, what they're eating in a day, whether it be, you know, just post-op or years out, like seeing how they're measuring and the tools they're using. It's so incredibly helpful. When I was talking to my aunt earlier tonight, I was telling her about that. And she's like, yeah, none of this existed when I had my, my surgery done. She goes, I was able to do it. Like, it's not that I couldn't do it, but I can see how those types of things can be so helpful. Like, I'm so happy that you have all these resources. And so am I. Like, I was thrilled to be able to share with her that I found all these things that, you know, look what, look what I have. Like, I know I can do this because I found all these tools to benefit me. Not only have the surgery benefit me, but all these, you know, support groups, resources, recipes, uh, support systems, support groups. Like it's just the resources and support that's out there today is fantastic. Like I am hands down so excited to be able to experience this and share this with people and have the support of everybody because I really haven't had any negativity and I know I'm going to like the world's negative, the world's bullshit. So it's, I mean, it's going to happen. <laughs> But I'm for right now, I'm going to stay with everything's been sunshine and daisies and rainbows. Um, I know that's not reality, but, you know, right now I'm going to take it that I have that support and I have that sunshine and daisy and rainbow mentality. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to shut up shop tonight um, and come at, come back with you soon. Hopefully with super exciting news in the you know, next couple weeks. Um, but still same, still the same thing we've on the trend. We're going progress, progress, progress. So good night for now. And I'll see you soon. Thank you again for watching. I'm so excited to have you guys here. And I'm so excited to share this journey. So remember to subscribe, hit the notifications. So you know, when I have another video coming out, like comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas for me, any suggestions, any words of wisdom, advice, encouragement, positivity, quotes, fun, motivation.